Good afternoon or good morning, folks, depending on where you are in Canada. Uh, I'm Peter Wallenius, Vice President of Cybersecurity Programs and Services at Canary. Um, welcome. Joining me today is Jill Kowalchuk, Senior Director of CanSoc Services. Um, we're glad to have you today to today's webinar, Stronger Together, uh, where we'll discuss the integration of CanSoc into Canary and, and share some thoughts about our intent to pursue an approach for an integrated set of services that enhance uh, cybersecurity capacity and services on behalf of the research and education sector. Um, both Jill and I will share today's slides. We'll jump back and forth. Uh, we expect it'll probably take 20 minutes or so to, to run through the slides and we'll leave ample opportunity for questions after that. So with no further ado, I'll hand it over to Jill. Today to talk a little bit about the context. Uh, for many of you on the call, you may have seen a slot, this slide or similar slides. Um, we've used them, both CanSoc and Canary have used um, slides like this and a variety of others to really talk about how, how much of a challenge cybersecurity is in our sector and, and globally beyond just our sector, but certainly in the higher education sector um, for many. And so uh, I imagine for many of you on this call, we don't need to go through all of, all of what you see on this slide, except to say that cybersecurity is and continues to be a main, a main challenge. So wanted to set a little bit more context on, on the, uh, the background that's led us here to, uh, to this day today. Um, um, certainly from a Canary perspective, we've been working in, in the domain of cybersecurity for about five years now. Uh, many, many of you will recall that we launched uh, um, a, an initiative to, in terms of setting a, a kind of a more holistic uh, cybersecurity strategy to engage uh, our community of, uh, and launch the cybersecurity initiatives program in the fall of 2020. And it was really around three core objectives to, to advance Canada's cybersecurity re readiness and capabilities. Um, and, and we looked at it with three pillars, engaging, engaging the higher education and DR ecosystem partners in a collaborative approach to developing um, national um, approaches to cybersecurity. And, and we'll continue to underscore this point with the, that aligns very strongly with the original CanSoc vision. Um, we intended to enhance capabilities by funding uh, both technology deployments as well as supporting talent development in a, in a more coordinated fashion across the ecosystem so that we we're best equipped to uh, address the challenges in front of us um, today and as we move forward in the future. Uh, and then to evolve our capabilities across the ecosystem uh, so that we are focused on uh, evolving services and services innovation over the long term so that our approach uh, remained as evergreen as possible given the environment that's in front of us. On the CanSoc side, CanSoc started uh, three or four years ago as a proof of concept with six founding institutions. Um, and since then, we've evolved uh, more recently over the last couple of years into a pilot to, to expand and include a larger number of institutions across Canada. We started with the vision better than we can do on our own, always in partnership. While the vision is quite simplistic, it has really served us well um, and, and, and stood the test of time as we continue to move from a proof of concept into the pilot. When we envisioned and looked at CanSoc, we never thought we were the full solution. It was always intended to be part of a more holistic e ecosystem, which is why always in partnership was a key driver of our vision. We've always worked closely with Canary and REN partners. We've grown additional partnerships with CIRA, Canadian Centre for Cybersecurity and others. And at the centre of the puzzle is always the institutions. So serving, um, looking at the needs, gaps and challenges of institutions in the cybersecurity space and developing solutions in partnerships with others to fill those gaps and challenges. The, the ultimate goal and the thing that we've seen over the last number of years as we've worked with these different partners is what's really key is making an integrated system. When we talk about institutions being at the center of this, 
we're hearing more and more and more from all of them that in addition to the cybersecurity challenge for which they need help, they need a more simplistic and simple system. One where all of these different um, solutions would pro provide substantial value are integrated and easier for institutions to consume. So the CANSOC uh, vision and mandate will not change as we integrate with Canary. Instead, it will make us provide a foundation for us to do all of this uh, in a more effective and efficient way and better support institutions in partnership with others. As we were doing the formative work to, to get towards uh, alignment on, on integration and how we proceed, we, we started by looking back at, at what's been accomplished over the last four or five years. And, um, you know, as part of that, there's always a focus on continual improvement. And we wanted to start with, um, you know, post post the launch of, of all of these activities across the sector, um, what was done well and, and where were there you know, gaps and opportunities for improvement? And, in, and certainly in terms of opportunities for improvement, um, we saw kind of four um, core areas. Um, certainly initiative optimization, we've, we've, we've now sponsored uh, or, or approved and deployed uh, six initiatives, I believe, in, in, in through the CIP program with, with four for partners. Um, we've always had the view that initiatives should be complementary and, and have the ability to share data so that we derive better solutions over time. Um, and, and certainly we saw the opportunity um, to improve on that. Uh, and this starts really with a systems view and developing architectures, not only from a technology perspective, but from a, a critical skills and, and staffing perspective to support a more balanced investment um, approach across the sector. And this provides better guidance for our advisory structures, uh, takes into consideration the, the needs of, of all institutions, irrespective of, of, of their size or their capabilities. Uh, it is critically important that that provides us um, um, some direction uh, as, as we progress down this path. Um, systems don't work without, without, certainly without expert skills and resources and, and talent development and retention uh, continues to be a challenge across um, cybersecurity in general and, and our sector is no different. So uh, again, with the systems view, we also need to understand um, and develop an approach so that we have a more, more greater alignment between our partners and ourselves around ensuring an orderly um, evolution of a pipeline of talent across the system. And, and I like to think about this as creating the right, the right mix of skills in the right place and, and provide the ability to, to truly deliver what, we, what we're trying to achieve on behalf of the system. And then finally, support for innovation. Um, many of the, the Canary um, CIP initiatives to date are, are more production-oriented services, uh, and, and we, we need to continue to you know, look forward and evolve and uh, do pilots and proofs of concept so that we're, we're really looking forward down the path that uh, we're setting early stage investments to, to uh, future CIP initiatives. So with that, let's talk a little bit about um, how we're approaching the integration of, of, of CANSOC into Canary. Um, many of you may know that, you know, as we said earlier, the, you know, the Canary Cybersecurity Initiatives Program uh, has been underway for about 18 months now. Uh, the, the national research and education partners across the country have been highly engaged uh, in, in deploying technologies to support the uh, improving the cybersecurity posture of the, the NREN itself, as well as being involved in supporting the delivery of initiatives to, to many of you folks uh, on the call today. Um, as we look at these, it, it, it clearly made sense for us if we were developing an aligned system and supporting uh, more of a, um, a system-wide process that from a, a Canary CANSOC perspective, we should be aligned internally so we're better equipped to uh, support the system itself. Um, so certainly as, as we look forward, we're creating uh, an internal structure that, that supports system-wide alignment on, on uh, these architectures and the, the location of uh, people, process, and, and tools, um, development and delivery of a portfolio of the national elements of the federated services that, that CANSOC has, 
has, uh, has started today and will continue to evolve, and, and undertaking that services innovation um, program that is being underwritten by research-intensive universities. And so structurally, what we're looking for, what we're looking at, sorry, is, is integrating all cybersecurity related activities into a single uh, line of business approach so that there's greater alignment in, in everything we do related to cybersecurity uh, with Kensock and Canary. Um, so as we look forward, we have, you know, three core activities for this integrated cybersecurity program structure. Um, the role of CANSOC does not change, uh, as, as Jill has mentioned, it's focused on national services development and delivery, which includes the, the federated architectures and services management and, and the RIG Innovation Fund, and Jill will speak to those in more detail in a moment. Um, we're, we're aligning a similar approach to services delivery uh, with our NREN partners so that we ensure that in lockstep, uh, CANSOC and, and NREN services are, are designed and delivered in, in tandem. Uh, and we have a, an integrated program management group that brings over our existing cybersecurity initiatives program team, as well as the Canadian Access Federation in more of, again, portfolio approach and supplements the work of the services development and delivery teams with common uh, standards and approaches to, uh, to how we develop and, and, and launch services. Thanks, Pete. So we'll spend the last couple of minutes and, and talk a little bit in more detail about the role of CANSOC. I think the most important takeaway is for those, those institutions that are leveraging services and support uh, from CANSOC right now, nothing will change. Um, when we've talked about CANSOC over the last number of years, we, we, we use the word to mean a few different things. Um, and through the discussions with Canary, we worked to formalize exactly what is CANSOC and what do the, the, those mean. So as Pete mentioned, um, CANSOC is, is the national federated system. Um, that is, so the small dedicated team of people in collaboration with NREM partners and institutions and individuals throughout that sector who work um, together to improve the, the security posture of institutions in, in Canada. CANSOC is the, the people, the processes and tools that support and enable this federation um, of expertise to support the entire sector. And finally, it's this organizational department with a small number of, of dedicated staff whose focus is going to be ensure this, this system works um, as we work together to, to more effectively understand the needs of the institutions and to love, develop and deliver services to support those, those institutions. Um, so when we look at CANSOC, CAP and RIG investment inside Canary, there's going to be sort of these two functions. They'll be very seamless out to the institutions. And, and so it will, um, by, by combining them together, it will provide the opportunity to make services and solutions more integrated and more, and more effective for, in, for, for the institutions to consume, use, and provide feedback and input back into the system on how things need to evolve. So we see this coming across three different pillars that we've talked a lot about these in, in the different pieces that we've already presented. So the national system architecture, service development and delivery, and service innovation. All three of these will be at the foundation of all of what we'll do to provide out to the community. We'll have two functions that, that sit across these two pieces or streams. The biggest and most important one will be the CIP and Canary investment. So this will be uh, continuing to provide the services and solutions that are already provided, like threat feed, uh, alerts, advisories, um, and executive briefs that we already see. This will be working with the analysts across uh, the Federation, um, like the NREN partners and others, continuing to develop and evolve services and solutions that support institutions across Canada, all the more than 200 eligible organizations um, that we currently provide services to. And, and, and collecting gaps and challenges from those groups. That ongoing in, in, integration and work with the, the community will continue as it does today. Institutions have the ability to engage with, with CANSOC um, analyst team directly as needed or through NREN partners, depending upon what works most effectively for you in your region or as an institution. We'll also continue to have this, this um, research intensive group um, uh, investment fund. 
that will work with a select number of institutions who have put financial contribution and resource contributions on the table to continue to investigate and develop services and solutions uh, related and targeted to those institutions. This is similar to what, how CANSOC was founded with the founding institutions. And out of that came things like threat fee. So the, the six founding institutions came together, identified a gap, worked towards uh, building requirements, uh, collaboratively developing the solution. And then when it was ready, realizing this has broad applicability out to the entire sector, and it's provided through Canary uh, CIP investment out to the entire community. That's the same type of model that will continue in this. Uh, the rig has expanded. It's no longer the six institutions, it's more. And we'll continue to dedicate some time to uh, understanding the gaps and challenges for research intensive group of institutions, piloting um, solutions in that space, and then working towards when they're ready, um, providing them out to the broader community at an appropriate time uh, with investment and support through the CIP program. So the most important thing here to, to realize is that we will continue to provide support and solutions to all. The rig is just going to be one component of what we do, but by integrating them both inside Canary, we'll, allow, we'll be able to provide better alignment across all of these initiatives. One of the questions we've got asked quite a bit over the last couple of weeks is who is, which institutions are in this research intensive group? Um, so we put this up here so you can see spreading across all regions uh, in Canada. Again, these institutions have provided financial contribution as well as resourcing and the commitment to share data to develop solutions and services as we move forward. The final thing I wanna to touch on is around the, the, a little bit more on this federation and what this federation means. Over the coming weeks and months, we're going to be working with um, institutions and NREN partners and others in the sector to really flesh out what exactly the Federation means. But through the work we've done to date, we see the Federation um, involving a, a few, few, two big components. On the left of this slide, you see the Federated Security Analyst Team. This is the people that work with institutions, work with data, understands needs and challenges, build use cases, uh, coordinate the sector to provide actionable intelligence out to institutions. You see on the left as well some opportunities that leveraging a federation across Canada may provide as we work um, in the future and, and continue to evolve this. And on the other side of the slide, you see the engineering team. Again, this is um, developed and working in practice right now as you see it. If you look at threat feed as an example, um, the infrastructure and the service as part of threat feed is provided by a team of individuals at McGill. Uh, and and that, that will continue. And the hope is that that will continue to expand with other CIP solutions and other components where institutions or organizations that have services and solutions can work, uh, can provide that into a federated uh, infrastructure. And as we move forward, these different initiatives will, um, where appropriate, leverage data and, and threat intelligence and components from each of these different services in an integrated fashion to provide more actionable intelligence. And so federating that engineering of those, those infrastructure components as well will provide the maximum benefit for all um, institutions in Canada in their cybersecurity challenges and needs. So when we think back to the gaps we talked about earlier, um, you know, what are we trying to achieve in, in, in the work that we've just outlined for you? And it's, it's really, you know, five broad themes. Um, that, that align with the gaps. First and foremost, providing uh, sustained funding for CANSOC to execute on the vision and, and flesh out and deliver on, on the roadmap it, it foresees for services evolution um, to, to align the separate uh, initiatives and programs uh, into a more integrated approach uh, so that we're really equipped to more effectively meet the challenge in front of us. Um, and, and that in, entails, as Jill's just fleshed out, uh, closer collaboration in developing the, the federated architecture and the investment models, which will support uh, the evolution uh, of the programs on the long-term basis, um, building out the talent pool, both on a national and a regional basis, so that we have uh, an ongoing uh, access to, to the critical skills we need to, to deliver on our mandate uh, and, and to support the rig innovation Fund, which is really enhancing our ability to 
um, to look at early stage investigations that will inform uh, future services. So with that, we'd welcome any questions uh, that, the, that the, uh, the group may have. So we'll give a couple of minutes. Um, uh, there is a Q&A function in the Zoom webinar. So you can click on the, the Q&A at the bottom and type in your question uh, there that you might have. Uh, and I see that we have one in the chat as well for Tyson. Um, so we can take it. So what is CIP in your context? What does it stand for uh, here to find Pete? So uh, thanks for that, Tyson. Uh, CIP is the Cybersecurity Initiatives Program. It is the you know the primary canary funding vehicle to support uh, initiatives that advance uh, across the uh, across the country in, in improving cybersecurity posture. Really linking back to the enhanced theme that we identified in the strategy. So there are uh, to date, I, I referenced uh, I believe it's six initiatives uh, in CIP have been approved with four different partners. Um, something on the order of 95% of, of institutions who are eligible for the program are participating in the program and the, the adoption of each of those initiatives is, is quite high to date, ranging from about 70 to 75% across every initiative. Thanks, Pete. Uh, so the next question is, what are the current ongoing projects that can be used by the institution? So I'll kick us off, Pete, and get us going, and then you can fill in the ones that I missed. So uh, Canary initially launched with three programs under the Cybersecurity Initiatives Program. Uh, the first was Sierra DNS Firewall. And so if you're an eligible organization, you can sign up. Uh, through that. Actually, maybe I'll start by saying, if you are an, an institute, represent an institution in Canada, and you're interested in uh, learning more about any of these initiatives that we go through or signing up, you sign up through all of these through your national research and education partner. And so that is the provincial or territorial, territorial organization that supports um, your connection to the national research and education network. Uh, and so if you're, you're not sure who your NREN partner is, you can send a note um, to Canary and will direct you to the right um, lead at your um, organization, depending upon uh, where you are located. And so of the initiatives, the first one was your DNS firewall, uh, as noted, to provide um, DNS firewall services to your institution. Uh, the second is CANSOC Threat Feed, provides uh, two components. One is curated block lists that your institution can block to protect, uh, block in your next generation firewall. As well, we have a platform that provides um, threat intelligence for institutions to use as they investigate um, or leverage um, in their sort of cybersecurity threat intelligence program. The third uh, initiative is the uh, Canary uh, Intrusion Detection Service, uh, the deployment of a sensor on your network and sharing of data back to platform. Uh, this is a pilot. This was started as a pilot by Canary a number of years ago and has been merged into the program. Uh, and then the new programs, uh, uh, Pete, one is the Cuccio Benchmarking Initiative uh, run out of uh, the Toronto Metropolitan University in partnership with Cuccio. And um, Pete, the other two. The fifth is the National Cybersecurity Assessment. It's uh, in, in development by the National Research and Education Network partners. That's it. Great. It was five. So I think the, the sixth one that we, we talk about in some pieces is the, the analyst network um, that is part of CANSOC. And so we, we talk a lot about threat feed, which provides the threat intelligence platform and block lists. But uh, when you sign up for that, you also get access to alerting advisory um, and executive briefs that are signed up when you consider the log for shell crisis that, that uh, happened um, uh, before the holidays, uh, you, you saw a lot of that information and intelligence coming out through that. Um, and most of that's disseminated through the, the Slack platform. So another piece that you get signed up for as you onboard as part of that. Uh, 
pause for a minute and ask if there are other questions from any of the, the participants. I mean, we did a good job at pre-answering questions, or we have a shy group, hungry group. No open questions. Nope, we're happy to follow up um, with any questions you might have after. Um, and so you can uh, reach out to either Peter or uh, me, our, our emails are on the Canary website. Uh, alternatively, if you're in the uh, Cansop Slack space, you can use your institution, institutional channel to answer questions or uh, send a direct message either to uh, me or Pete, because we're both in that Slack space as well. I guess that wraps things up. Thank you very much, folks, for participating today, and we look forward to working with uh, each and every one of you on this, uh, this most important initiative. Have a good day, everyone.